Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brick World. And in today's update, we are going to start a new building directly here next to the um, bus station between the bus station and all the tracks you can see there. We're going to build a new building that's going to be the old train station building used for something else. To start our new project I had to buy lots of new bricks and these plants are for other projects in the future but mainly I bought a lot of dark red bricks and plates and other stuff. I also bought some windows in white and other stuff in white just to start that building. I do not know how it's going to be. I just bought these uh, bricks and plates etc to have enough um, stuff to work with and it's often like that I do not plan my buildings exactly or anyway I just buy stuff for it I just look what I have and then I start building and I'm starting to look what yeah, what's good what's not so good I change some stuff and here in the speed build you can see that I'm uh, changing some little stuff here and there but I had just a very nice uh, very good idea of what I want to have in my city as a new building and you also can see that I'm working as always with double walls that's my yeah I always do it with my buildings because I have the I have more stability and also I can have different um, walls in the inside and at the outside so I can have these red bricks at the outside and I can have white walls for example in the inside. I also do not have to look uh, what I'm doing inside or outside and that's, yeah, that's quite a good idea and I also can build my um, windows in between with these jumper plates. You also can see that I, uh, I built a little ramp here just to make it um, uh, reachable for everybody also people that have for example a wheelchair or some other uh, disabilities and yeah that's something I want to have in my city always I want to have it as um, po as easy for disabled people as possible like in some real cities I am now checking how I can uh, go on with that style I have created on the left side um, and you can see here that I, it's, it's it's something it's building up I changed some stuff and as always I don't know how uh, why it's a building will be in the at the end and it's quite a, a surprising way to build stuff even for me or for myself and yeah I And that's it, that's my first part of that new building. I added that arch here, also added some stickers inside. That's going to be some public restrooms in the near future. If you're following my German channel, I'm, we are about 10 videos in the future of that video you look right now. And there I did all the inside stuff of that building just today on the German channel so if you want to watch it and you do not have problems with the German language or just want to watch it and not understand any word just go to the German channel it's called Brick World without international uh, suffix and uh, oh, just watch it here the speed build is going on and I'm adding another window and now I just know how to build it so it's going faster and faster when I have my um, way to build it. And that's the next arch I'm starting here. And at the end I don't know if we will do it today or in another update we will have three arches. Also, so we have three entrances into that building. And as I said before that dark red building is going to be the old train station building of my city uh, as it was uh, years ago. And it has some, it's no more a uh, train station. It has been changed inside. There are no restrooms. There will be a little shop. There's all going to be some other stuff. And yeah, that's something. It's, it's 
also very important for me. You can see now the building of the sidewalk here and I'm adding some stuff already for the shop. I added that fresh sign here that's from an official Lego set. You might um, remember that. And what I want to say is that I want to have not even a realistic city by scale and color etc. But also cities especially here in Europe. I don't think it's stuff like that also in the US because we have much more time to establish or to change cities here in Europe as that cities are not built and then then that on that stage they are evolving every time over the time and that makes it very nice because buildings are changed some stuff is changed there um, is so much changing over the years and centuries and that's something i want to also show in my city and what we're doing now we are going to add some more stuff here um some more minifigures as you can see here that's um, some bicycles here and now we have 637 inhabitants here in the city a growing number and yeah that's a great number but i think it's going to be uh, four digits in the very near future <laughs> and it's a little bit insane how many figures are here but looking at the train tracks here, you can see that we are very, very near to that area. And that's of course because the red building, as I said before, is the old train station. And that has to be in that location. Looking from another angle, you can see that it's going... Oh, we have that new building here and we now have the basic structure here around the bus terminal. And I have now a better idea of what I want to build here and what's going on the other empty spots in the future. And that's the way I always build even my um, buildings and, and my city stuff, my streets, etc. I just go on and on and see what I uh, want to have by having just a very vague um, draft of what is going to be at every stage. That area here we are going to change some stuff in the future. Maybe we are going to add some more graffiti because graffiti is something you can see in cities like that everywhere. And that's my, yeah, one more point for making it more realistic. I think I will going to add the um, rest of that building part in the new future in another update. And that's it for today. What do you think about today's update? And in the next update, we are going to work back at the marketplace. So feel free to write everything about today's update. And yeah, that's it. Um, and once again, thank you very much for that um, growing numbers of followers here on that channel. And yeah, that's it for today. Bye.